Off the way to Phoenix, Arizona, off the way to Tacoma, Philadelphia, Atlanta, LA, Northern California where the girls are warm so I can sit my back and get laid. I'm coming for number one. I do this shit for fun. Still chopping, no stopping, still pill popping, still people mocking. You might be the next one. Back with my homie Vinje. Swear to God, they'll probably never understand me. Sick of just walking around pretending I'm happy. Feel like collapsing from all the weight that I carry. But I just keep it pushing and pop me another Zanny. No, it's sad, but I remember as a kid it was rough. Always thought. Ooh, that fucking beat just went in hard like old school, man. But yeah, I know, I know where he's coming from right now, man. I've, I got addiction problems like my whole life, basically. I'm not even gonna lie, you know, like most people, you know. That do drugs have addiction fucking problems. Pop me another Zanny. Carry, but I just keep it pushing and pop me another Zanny. No, it's sad, but I remember as a kid it was rough. Always thought we had it all. What I was missing was love. Now I was drowning in some waters that were thicker than blood. Still, they wonder how the fuck I got addicted to drugs. Damn, but they don't get that I'm avoiding feeling pain. Only time I feel alive is when there's poison in my veins. Mama telling me to look at what I'm doing to myself, but I just want to be fucking happy like everybody else. They Right, that's what people don't get, man. Like, you're like, oh, <laughs> same situations I dealt with, man. My mom looking at me, life isn't just one big party. No shit, I'm just trying to be, you know, I just want to feel normal. That's what I'm doing. I'm fucking feeling normal right now, feeling good like everyone else. That's what people don't get. This is fucking, this is uh, touching me right now. Vin J, homie, like... This is uh, some good shit right here, man. You're sending a good message. Like, people have addiction problems every day. Every day. A million times a day. A million people a day, you know? So it's very relatable. I'll tell you that. I'm avoiding feeling pain. Only time I feel alive is when there's poison in my veins. Mama telling me to look at what I'm doing to myself. But I just want to be fucking happy like everybody else. They looking down on me like I'm the fucking villain. I don't want to talk about it. I know they don't want to listen. I was only trying to make up for the feeling I was missing. If I'm only feeling pain, tell me what's the point of living. Every day I'm waking up and trying to deal with the stress. And I've been acting like I'm happy when my life is a mess. And all I know is that I got this fucking pain in my chest. And I would love to get clean, but I'm too fucking depressed. Damn, mama's panicking. I'd love to get clean, but I'm too depressed. Addiction's a really shitty thing, man. Like, it really, really is. I'm not saying I'm like a hardcore drug addict or nothing, but there's... It could always be better, you know what I mean? And again, and losing the faith Came to tell me about a rehab in a beautiful place She said, just checking up if you was awake She broke down when she seen her son blue in the face And thought, no one ever told me it would be this hard Once upon a time, we were the happiest couple. Knew we always had it. You, you fell out, bro? You almost died? You OD'd? What, what were you doing? Heroin? Or what, what was up? Each other never had any trouble. Always had each other's backs. If we happen to struggle, I left some people in the past and they were mad that I loved you. Said it's only puppy love. I knew that wasn't the case. I remember getting nervous when I brought you on dates. Conversations about the future and copping our own place. Talking about the day you'll be sharing my last name. I think I've loved you since the time that we met. You had my heart, and to be honest, you was taking my breath. All my homies said that I became a little obsessed. Never thought that you would give and leave me. My homies told me I was obsessed. How can you leave me depressed? That's why I'm single right now. I couldn't ever get that relationship, you know? And I'm not even looking right now. I'm just trying to pursue my goals, you know? Wrapping my ass off and doing reactions daily, you know? That's where DK... 
defeated, I feel like I'm suffocating. You ripped my fucking heart out and never tried to replace it. Now when I think about you, all I feel is disgust. You were all I ever wanted, thanks for fucking it up. Everybody that's around me knowing something is wrong. They always try to tell me love's the strongest drug of them all. You know what? Huh. I'ma go and see for myself. Let me pop a couple zannies, I'ma see if it helps. Oh my god, I think I... Yeah, love's probably not the most powerful drug. But okay, so you're addicted to Xanax? That's actually pretty rough because the withdrawal symptoms, you can die from this shit, you know? You feel like garbage. That's just what I've never actually been hooked to benzos or, you know, Xanax or nothing like that. But yeah, I've heard it's fucking rough. And it's just as bad as, like, heroin or something like that when you can literally die from not taking the shit. That's... Probably wasn't the best idea, homie, you know? I mean... I know what it's like, though. You almost feel like your world crashes down when, you know, you separate with someone. Shit. Before, shit, I can't even take a brief in a mission without me throwing up a feeling like a piece of me's missing. It was a time I needed love, now I need a prescription. I'm done with living like this, I'd rather lethal injection. Cause all I think about is pills when I open my eyes. And every day I'm waking up. You know, suicide entered and everything, man. You might as well take a lethal injection at this point. I'm not happy. Feels like I'm dying when I don't take these. You know, it's just shitty situation. Very shitty situation. I'm waking up and feeling broken inside When all I really wanted was to feel happy for once But now I'm losing myself and losing my family's trust Damn, I really think these drugs have taken my soul Probably pop them till they put me in the grave and I'm cold But I can't point any fingers, I know the blame is my own I got addicted to a bitch and that's a fate that I chose No one ever told me it would be this hard Never really thought that it would You got addicted to a bitch and that's what you chose and you were doing drugs to numb the pain of this chick leaving you in that. Very relatable. I can't wait to work with Vin J, man. It's going to be awesome. The dude's insane. And it would take my life long. I just want the pain to fucking go away. Okay, something even as pure as water can intoxicate. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, man. We need some subs. We need to get up to a mill like No Life Shack here. Put down in the comments what you want me to react to next, and we'll get into it. We got over 100 some videos. Go watch. Go check some of them out. DK, wow, loves you. See you next time.